everyone. I hope you all had fun making the toilet paper tube bunnies last week. I saw some photos and they were all so cute. This week we're going to make a tin can or yogurt tub telephone. So let's get started. Is it working? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. With just two cans or two cups and a piece of string, you can make a toy telephone that really works. You will need two tin cans from your recycling bin, washed with their labels removed. You will also need a length of kitchen string, approximately 6 to 12 feet long. You will also need a nail. A blunt tip needle, a, a little bit smaller than the, than the diameter of your nail. And lastly, you will need a small hammer. To punch the hole in the bottom of your tin can, you will need to center your nail tip on the bottom of the can, and very carefully so you don't Push your fingers, which I have done many times. Gently hammer through your can. And you don't have to go too much in. Like, make sure you get past the pointy part. But once you're up to the main shaft of your nail, you don't have to go all the way in because it'll just be a bit tricky to get out that way. So just gently hammer through. There. And pull out. If you can't get it out, you could ask a parent for help. Now that you have the holes punched in your in the bottoms of your cans, you can now thread them together. To do so, simply get one end of your string and thread it onto your needle, leaving a small tail on one end and the rest of your string on the other. Beginning at the outside of your can, push your needle through inside your can. You might have to reach in and grab. Careful because there might be sharp edges inside. If it's too hard, you can ask a parent for help. Remove your needle from your thread. Take the end of your thread that was just threaded onto your needle and tie it into a double knot so that it's nice and tight. Pull it to secure inside of your can. You will see that it won't pull out through the hole in the bottom if you tied your knot not large enough. If you didn't, untie your knot and do it again so that it won't pull through. Find the other end of your string and do the same thing on the other can, starting at the outside and going into the inside before tying a double knot. Now you're ready to play. There are a few important steps before you begin. The first is that when you are talking into it, your string must be taut. Hello. Hello. When you are listening to someone else, do not turn the can. As you can see, it pushes against the edge of your can. The string pushes against the edge of your can. Turn your whole body and keep the string aligned with both cans. Have fun. P.S. If you do not have tin cans, you can use yogurt tubs or paper cups. Be careful if you are using yogurt tubs because they may have a tendency to crack along the bottom. And for a sneak peek into next week, I am planning on making felt Easter eggs. So start looking around your house and garage for some felt before next week. Bye!